Hey, I'm Nick Caruso, and you're watching This Week in Gear. These are just some of the big product news items from the past week, including the best wireless earbuds of 2020, the coolest motorcycle you can buy now for under 10 grand, and great news about our current favorite bourbon. Now, if you're interested in more info about any of what we talk about in this episode, make sure to visit the description below for links to our online coverage. Let's get started. First up, our headline story, the best wireless earbuds you can buy in 2020. Now, wireless earbuds have become essential EDC. It's hard to beat that sort of untethered feeling. And to be clear, we're talking about true wireless earbuds, meaning the earbuds themselves aren't connected to each other, let alone to a separate audio device. Now, there are tons of options out there. Some are made for specific activities or specific phones, and they all come at widely varying price points. But as staff writer Tucker Bowe points out, the biggest factor and, and most important factor in choosing the right wireless earbuds for you is how they fit. If they don't stay put in, their ear, in your ears, they ain't gonna work, so choose wisely. Now, this list is divided into two sections. Uh, our editor's top four picks and a group of honorable mentions, so there are other great earbuds you can consider as you shop. I'll give you a quick overview of uh, what's notable about each set, shout out some important specs, and give you an idea of who each is best for. And remember, as always, for the complete rundown, check the link below in the description for more info. Here we go. We'll start with the best overall pick, Apple AirPods Pro. Now you're probably not surprised to see the AirPods Pro on the spot. Their siblings, AirPods, are excellent and they're everywhere. And these Pro versions are even better. Plenty sets them apart from the OG AirPods, like the addition of noise canceling technology, upgraded drivers, silicone ear tips to keep them in place, an IPX4 water resistance rating, and appropriately, the price. They're 249 bucks. But if you have an iPhone, these are by far the best you can buy. The best wireless earbuds specifically for running or uh, any active lifestyle is the Jaybird Vista, which were released last summer. Vistas are rated at IPX7, meaning they're fully waterproof, not resistant, and that means that sweat won't stop them. They're also some of the lightest and smallest our team has tested. Now the Vista's small case also charges them very quickly, which is great. And the sound is tunable through an adjustable EQ. And they're only 180 bucks. For audiophiles, the earbud with the best sound quality are the Sennheiser Momentum TWs. And you pay for it. These are 300 bucks, but for good reason. There are no other options that come this close to this level of sound quality. Now these earbuds were released in 2018, so we expect to see a new version quite soon and probably with noise canceling technology. But for now, they play well with both iPhone and Android. And as a bonus, the USB-C case is very good looking. Sony takes the prize for the best noise canceling earbuds. These are the earbud version of the brand's top notch uh, noise canceling headphones, full headphones, and their capability is unmatched. That's a huge selling point, even at $228. Utilizing a combination of a charging case and the earbud's own six hour battery life, you can get 24 hours of noise free listening. So those are the four absolute top picks, but if you're still shopping around, check out these others too. We'll start with the Bose SoundSport Free. Now these are the first wireless earbuds by Bose and they're three years old. So we expect a new update anytime soon and they stick farther out of our ears than we'd like. But for 200 bucks, they're still a really great option, particularly if you like deep bass, which they produce quite well. Powerbeats Pro. They're a marriage of Powerbeats 3 wireless, which are actually tethered uh, to each other, and Apple's own true wireless technology, since they're affiliated with Apple. They're sweatproof, and they look good, and they sound great. They're 250 bucks, but if AirPods Pro don't fit you well, these are a really good option. And for what it's worth, I have a pair of these and I love them, though the case, way too big for pockets. So plan ahead. Late last year in 2019, Master and Dynamic released two different versions 
of wireless earbuds. The MW07 Plus featured noise canceling tech and better battery life than their predecessors. And the MW07 Go are made of a composite material that makes them small and lightweight and also sweat and water resistant. Now both are 300 bucks, but in terms of style, as is custom with Master and Dynamic, you get what you pay for, a lot. The Jabra Elite 65T are an older model, but we still like them for their powerful drivers and especially their four microphone array, which makes them really adept at taking calls and they fit better than AirPods too. But that means they also fit tighter and tend to be uncomfortable for longer wearing, but they're only 150 bucks. We also recommend the current generation of Jabra's earbuds called the Elite 75T. Now compared to the 65T, they're 20% smaller, they have a better battery life, and they support USB-C charging. They're 180 bucks, but they're also more water and sweat resistant than their older predecessors. The second generation AirPods at 159 are still a great set of wireless earbuds. This version, of course, added Apple's H1 chip, which improved battery life, microphone quality, and pairing time. It also has hands-free Siri capability, and for a little extra cash, 199 bucks versus 159, you can upgrade from a regular case to a charging case. The company One More sells hi-fi audio products at reasonable prices. Their true wireless noise-canceling earbuds are 200 bucks, and feature two different drivers, which is unique, a dynamic driver and a balanced armature driver, which pair together for great sound quality. Lastly, the retail giant, Amazon, don't know if you've heard of them, also has an entry into the space called the Echo Buds, which utilize active noise reduction technology made by Bose. It works really well, and the Echo Buds only cost 130 bucks. Now that's the list. If you have experience with any of these picks or want to weigh in in any way, please speak up in the comments below. And happy shopping. The new Indian Scout Bobber 60. It's a $9,000 two-wheeled cool machine. It's a stripped down and blacked out Scout that's more than just a looker too. What you see here is a pared down version of Indian's original Scout Bobber. This displacement is pared down too, just 999 cc versus the Scout Bobber's 1133, but weight is about 25 pounds lower, and that amounts to 78 horsepower, a low center of gravity, and a performance bargain. And also note, those fenders are chopped and there's an ABS option as well. Now you won't find cruise control or heated hand grips, but you don't get a Scout Bobber 60 to be warm, you get it to be cool. <laughs> and we're eager to take a ride, so uh, stay tuned, and if you've got an opinion on this new bike, let us know. Oh boy, do I have good news for so many of you. Four Roses Small Batch Select, it's their 2019 editor's pick for the best bourbon out there, and it's been pretty hard to find, but it's about to get a whole lot easier to come by. Four Roses Distillery is increasing its distribution in a big way. They're adding over a dozen states to the list, which until now, included only five states. And yes, I'm going to list them all, so feel free to scrub ahead about 30 seconds if you don't want to hear all this. So in addition to California, Georgia, Kentucky, New York, and Texas, you're in luck now if you live in Colorado, Florida, Illinois, Indiana, Massachusetts, Michigan, Missouri, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Tennessee, Washington, and Wisconsin. So we're huge fans of Small Batch Select, because it's non-chill filtered, which means it has sort of an oilier mouthfeel. And Four Roses blended six of their best recipes to make this expression, four of which were part of the recipe for 130th anniversary small batch. And that stuff can go for $500 a bottle. So if you find a bottle of small batch select, which you're now much more likely to, don't hesitate. Trust us, it's great. I'm Ryan Brower, Gear Patrol's commerce editor, and it's my job to find the best deals on the internet every single day. One of the top deals out there this week is on the new Adidas Ultra Boost 20s. The Ultra Boost, of course, has become one of the more popular running shoes out there. And that's thanks to a perfect blend of a sock-like fit, ample support, and responsive cushioning. All of that make for a great running shoe. 
Right now, the newest version, the Ultra Boost 20s, are 30% off in certain colorways. The best part about the Ultra Boost is the Boost foam in the midsole. And the new Ultra Boost 20s actually have 20% more of that foam than the beloved Ultra Boost 19s. This provides even greater energy return and more support. You can shop the Ultra Boost 20 sale by hitting the link in the description below. That's it for this episode of This Week in Gear. Of course, we've covered plenty of other product news online this week, so check out the description below to follow up on more of what we just talked about and hit up gearpatrol.com for much more. And as always, feel free and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss another video update. That's all for now. We'll see you next week.